photograph that carries some emotion or some idea that's so important that it stops you, that's the crown jewel of photography to me and that's why I think that it is still a meaningful thing to try to go out and do. I am Ruben Krabbe, I'm a ski photographer, mountain bike photographer, and I live in Squamish, BC. The first time you come to Squamish, you probably just go straight through Squamish on your way up to Whistler. And if you go downtown Squamish, it's sort of low-key, there's not as much going on. It's just authentically itself. It is an industry town, and I sort of love that authenticity. Who lives in Squamish is a hard question to answer because there's so many different things. There's a university up the hill from me, then there's a bunch of people who work in downtown Vancouver who use it as a bedroom community, and then there's also this core group of people who like to go and do whatever sport there is. When I'm here in Squamish, I'm really happy just because everything's super close to you. If you're going up to Whistler to ski, it's only 40 minutes from my doorstep to the chairlift. If I want to go ride my bike, it's about four minutes down the road until my wheels are on dirt. I almost love going and doing those sports without the camera bag as much or more than the pursuit of photos. Jordan Manley, another photographer, be the first photographer to make it clear to me that you want to take less gear with you and be able to travel faster, lighter, and be right beside the riders and understand the sport from more of their point of view. And I don't profess to be great at any of the sports that I do, but I do really want to be better. And that's where I want my photography to move. I'd rather go on that adventure. We are shooting sort of almost my favorite loop to go and ride straight out of the house. I actually have never stood on with a camera. And it's wonderful doing that also with Steve, one of my good friends who I shoot a ton with. And then also with Sid, who's an amazing rider who lives right here in Squamish, and we haven't shot at all. So it was sort of cool working with one athlete that you know exactly how they're going to ride everything because you know them so well, and then another rider who's bringing something else in this really crazy riding style. The thing that sort of defines Squamish for me is both the rock and then also the rainforest. All of this moisture that often comes in on a coastal storm just sort of comes in, sits and stops. But it does make this really, really vibrant green rainforest, which is so beautiful to go ride through. Yeah, both of you guys taking the bowl. The shot's gonna be like one person in the bowl, one person following them in. You guys ready? Drop. This late adjustment on my side, you guys were perfect on that. Ready? Yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> oh, The proper good clean answer of what does motivate me right now to keep shooting, other than the fact that it is sort of where my mind is sort of more at rest. I just, it's just the thing that comes naturally is for me to be out there with friends shooting photos. It's just my consistent happy state, so I do it. Squamish is here, Squamish has its, has its own stuff, has its own, its own thing. You don't hear yet people be like, oh man, I'm gonna go to BC and go ride Squamish. They're like, oh, I'm gonna go to Whistler. But I think that you're gonna start hearing that kind of sentiment of say, hey, I wanna go to BC and I'm gonna go ride Squamish.